We're here with uh, Coach Little of the Empire team. Coach, talk a little bit about what your season is, is like so far. You know, we've had some ups and downs. Um, talk a little bit about what you're looking for to head into this weekend against Hampton Roads. Well, the biggest thing we're struggling with right now is consistency. We have a couple good shifts and we have some bad shifts and we're just not stringing anything together right now. Um, and talk a little bit about uh, the shots you got coming against you. You're being outshot considerably, but when you get those scoring chances yourself, you're burying them. And, and, and we hate to go back to the old adage, shoot the puck, but it seems to be working out pretty well. No, and that's exactly right. Um, you know, we got some kids that played at a lower level last year, so they're having trouble adjusting to the newer, faster defensemen. And so they don't have as much time to get the shots off right now, and that's really causing a lot of turnovers, which is leading us to spend more time in the defensive zone than, than we really like to. Right, and, and you know, you know, go along with that that whole the whole speed issue. I mean, you guys have speed in our team. There's no doubt about that. Um, size is, is a little bit of a factor. Um, are you guys, you know, game plan, you know, working around the outside of defenders? You know, the, you're coming up against some big slow defenders. I mean, they're, they're bigger, but you guys can get around them easy. Is there is there a strategy to use that speed going forward? Oh, oh definitely. We uh, we're trying to teach them more to uh, spread the ice out and not jumble everything up into the middle. And then we're trying to really actually get them to. Uh, work on dumping the puck and using that speed getting the other team's defensemen to turn and have to skate we can use our speed to beat them the pucks right um talk a little bit about tj holland he's he's been good so far he's faced in, an incredible amount of shots but he's he's held his own is he your goaltender going forward for sure he is actually our goaltender going forward we uh, actually just officially named him our number one starter he will play the majority of the games as long as he can hold up and he feels like he's good to go we're going to ride him as long as we can right your, your standout players so far, uh, Nolan uh, Streichar is for sure. Um, talk a little bit about who you are looking to have step up, either in the physical uh, physicality department uh, and the goal scoring department as well. Well, we'd like uh, actually Miles Miller. He's our leading returning scorer from last year. He's uh, missed a couple games with you know some other sports that he played for high school. So uh, hopefully this weekend he'll get two games in and he'll be able to use his speed a lot. He's one of the fastest kids on our team and he's a tremendous asset off offensively. Yeah, we we noticed the last time we we were, we didn't see him the first uh, first weekend against East Coast when we were here. Yep. And then he he was noticeable out oh, on the ice oh yeah. uh, last weekend. So, um, what's the scouting report on Hampton Roads? Uh, pretty good uh, they, uh, credibility coming forward from uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, this year, I, I believe they're four and one. They uh, just their last two games they beat East Coast twice. They've got they're a little short-handed this weekend, but they have two lines with. I think three guys, three of their top six have two points a game, so they can produce offensively. So it's going to be a, a struggle defensively. We're going to have to really tighten it up today. Buckle down. Cool. Thanks a lot, Coach.